Hi friends, welcome to this presentation. We want to be looking at uh, curve roof thrones. The easiest way to uh, model curve roof thrones is just the way you are seeing this one. All right. And so, curve roof thrones can be modeled and as well add to total structure library for future use and this model is carried out using uh, AutoCAD so after I must have modeled the shape of the curve thrust in AutoCAD there is a provision where you can import the DSF file from the AutoCAD into a Prota structure 2021 and then you can be able to assign members to it if you choose to use a angle iron like this one is angle iron back to back and see there's also provision where you can make that change successfully and so that is what we are going to be looking at in this lesson straight away let's see how that works effectively So here is the structure. We want to erect the the roof truss now. So at first, you need to move the grid line set out to the top of the last story. Here you have to erect the trusses just like this. Okay. Then it goes straight away to modeling tab and then steam members select thrust pick the first point of the thrust and the last point of the thrust okay so these are the available thrusts in the proto structure 2021 all right so if i should navigate to autocad to show you the thrusts i model I will quickly go into AutoCAD. So here is the truss in AutoCAD. This is how I model it in AutoCAD. And after modeling it, I save it as a DSF file on my desktop. Then, straight away, let us look at it. A proto structure. So for for you to be able to import that dsf file come to these provisions once you click on this provision you take to the directory where that where you save that uh, autocad uh, uh, dsf file and then you import it into these provisions but that particular trust i've already modeled and dictated it and now i save it in the proto structure uh, library so if i should click on this library right away this one right there this is the trust you can see calf trust okay this is it so i just have to select that and click on load so once i click on load here is the trust you can see it right away so on the trust you can see the support this provision is the support and this other provision is sort of as a support at a uh, both end so after that click on ok so once i click on it you can see this trust uh inserted automatically just like that so I will just proceed to placing it on top of the inserting it on top of the uh, the stanchion just like that. Okay. All right. So you can see it being placed successfully. I will deselect the command right away, and then for me to place my um my polines. I will go straight away to the steam member, All right? I select polyne, I pick the first thrust, then pick the, set, the last thrust, okay? So as to place my polines. And if I should have a cantilever at the end of my polines, I'll come to left cantilever, right there, make provisions of 1,000, which is one meter, All right? Cantilever, okay? This will serve as a clouding 
so that the uh, the, the rain splash will not actually touch the the structure all right so after i must have provided that successfully i can't just have to click ok by the way to insert uh, the polarize just like this okay all right so this is the easiest way to actually model a truss of this type a calf truss like this all right so if you want to actually go advance in the use of total structure i would advise you to join my lesson you can't actually uh drop a message uh, there will be link at the description of this video you can't drop a message with me if you have interest okay so i'll bring the lesson to a stop as we are going to be continue going advance in the next lesson stay tuned i'm so freezing and bye for now